This is a monumental day. I think probably most of you know what this title screen is. And of course, you probably should have read the title of the video. I am playing Demon Souls Remastered on the PlayStation 5. Um, again, this is a monumental day. Uh, as you probably know, if you follow me on Discord and Instagram, Mr. Underscore Sketchhead, follow me. Uh, I got a PS5 last week after not really thinking it was going to be possible. Like looking at the market and how the situation is PlayStation wise, I honestly thought I wasn't going to get one to like end of this year, early next year. And a store came through. I'm not going to name which one because that's free promo on this channel of 14,000 people. It's not free promo, but you know what I'm saying. Um, unbelievably, they came through. A store that I didn't expect would come through. And they're like, hey, you want a PS5? It has a Ratchet and Clank as well. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I want a Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank all the way. But Demon Souls more all the way. Um, this is going to be old school in how I play this game. Uh, I'm gonna still edit, but less so than in like Sekiro and all the other playthroughs like Binding of Isaac. It's gonna be like a more traditional playthrough because I think this game deserves it. And I think that's about enough uh, running of my mouth. I'm just checking that everything is correct. Don't want to mess up the first episode and ruin kind of the surprise. I've already watched the intro, which I think you can find on YouTube or whatever. Uh, it's the first time I've watched a Souls intro in a long time. Let's go and jump into character creator. Let's do this. I'm gonna probably edit out character creator because that's going to be a long time. You, this this game has a sick character creator, so I'm gonna take my time a little bit and actually make something decent. I don't know what, but it's going to be decent. Okay, we gotta pause here for the <laughs> oh the soldier. <laughs> this head looks goofy as hell. Uh, Knight, Hunter. The class is a big question. I mean, this game has like some really gormless character classes. Like, half of this shit is OP. Like, like this is Demon Souls. Everything is OP in this game. So, I don't know. Um, I have a, a general idea of what build I'm gonna go for, but do I want to use magic, melee, a bit of both? Who knows? Who knows, who knows, who knows. Let's go with, you know what? We're gonna go with the Wanderer. The Wanderer is like a nice balance of stats. He he is pretty good. So, plus he has sick armor. So I'm gonna go with the Wanderer. You can go anywhere with the Wanderer. Uh, let's pick a gift. Grass Jelly. Elixir. MP. Raises item discovery. Kunai. Fire bombs, soul remains, and fire arrows. Some of these are new as well. Let's go with the Providence Ring. I feel like that's gonna be that's gonna be good. All right, time for character creator. Let's do this. Okay, so this is sort of what I came up with. Uh, I wanted to go for like a fucking like old Nordic warrior type deal, like something from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, someone who's like been mauled by a polar bear a couple of times. Not sure I achieved that. I feel like... No, this, this is good. This is good. I mean, we finally have, after 12 years, a decent character creator in a Souls game. I'm gonna shut up now. Watch the cutscene. Let's watch the cutscene. I mean, we know what this is about, but still, like, like this is Demon, Demon Souls remastered. I think all the dialogue is re-recorded, right? Lots of times by the original voice actors. Those who lose their souls 
lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force, and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fisher to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. The awe of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbain. Is that fucking deer? I think it is. The sixth Saint Astria with her knight garb in it. And Sage Freak, the visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior That's us. has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? God, this is so cool. I can't believe I'm actually going to be playing this. This is nothing new. I mean, you know what this game is. Uh, like, this is a straight up almost one to one remaster. So, there's not much in terms of rebalancing for the gameplay and all that. But still, like, the very fact that this exists is so fucking cool. I don't have to. Oh, yeah. One of the sort of annoying things, I'm sure you can turn this off, but some of the sound comes from the controller. Uh, not sure how my mic is going to be picking that up. Um, probably not too well. It's just how it is. I cannot believe it. We're, we're doing this. We're doing this. Uh-oh. Uh, you know what we have to do. Hold on. Controller speaker mode. Turn that shit off. And invert the horizontal controls. Cool. Oh shit, this looks so good. I mean, you guys know, like probably no one who watches this channel hasn't checked out this game or footage of this game. Does that make any sense? That doesn't make any sense what you just said. Um, everybody has seen footage of this game. Everybody knows it's fucking good looking. Um, this is really like the showpiece of this console. Um, aside from like Ratchet and Clank and all that. Oh, this is so cool. The fact that, again, I don't have to emulate anything anymore. The fact that I don't have to dig out my PS3 if I want to play this game. The fact that I can just fucking launch it up and play it whenever I want. God, that's a... That idea... Okay, you know what I'm trying to do here. Fucking hell. Did they change the parry timings? No way. Fuck. Bruh. I, I cannot parry. Okay, let's just kill him. What the hell was that? Um. That's not a good thing. It's not good that I can't parry. I gotta, like, get to the bottom of this. Fuck. There we go. We want to get around to parrying because... Um, this game has the fucking sickest... The dopest parry animations. So we need to... I think it just has to do with the frame rate. I mean... You know that old Demon Souls, especially old Demon Souls emulated on my PC. 
did not run at 60 FPS. In fact, it ran at like 20. Um, so it's probably something to do with that. I'm a bit off, you know, on the timing. God, this looks so good. That's what there's going to be 90% of this playthrough pre prepared for it. 90% of this playthrough is going to be me saying, oh, this looks so good. Oh, that looks so good. Like, it's just how it is. It's just how it is. This is, even though I've played this game, I think you're supposed to hear like the demon growling or something. Um, even though, of course, I've played this game before. But, you know, still. And even if it's like a one-to-one -one remaster almost, the fact that this is so good, they put so much effort into the visuals, is really impressive. I just need to like parry practice. I'm gonna be a parry god. See, I'm used to being a parry god in this game, in vanilla. And I'm... On uh, like, I uh, know, I can't say I'm an okay parrier, because I'm not. I'm a shysa parrier, and that's not good. I don't want to be a shit parrier. Honestly, the thing is, the reason I'm so happy that this exists is that... You know what, you know what I've always said about Demon Souls. Demon Souls is a fun game, it's a great game. But that shit looks hella bunk now. Like, it's a game from 2009, and we're gonna be honest, the graphics did not age the best, did they? Um, even Dark Souls... Even Dark Souls 1, which does have a remaster, the original one has trouble holding up. Especially with the weird visual shit like the lava and all that. Uh, but Demon Souls, man, Demon Souls straight up looks like a PS2 game sometimes when I went back to it. See, now I can... Uh, these dudes I can parry, apparently. God, that's sick. He goes straight for the, sh the crotch, like, this dude doesn't give a fuck. And I think there are several different parry animations per weapon, maybe. What happens if you do a two-handed one? That's what I want. Shit. I don't know if you can switch quickly enough. I'm sure you can. Mm. I'm walking slowly because I want to take this all in. You guys know, uh, the way I play Demon Souls is like a thousand miles per hour. That's not going to be happening on this playthrough. Like, this is going to be like enjoying a Michelin starred meal. You gotta like savor the experience, you know. You ain't going to McDonald's here. This is not, you're not picking up a Whopper. You're gonna, you're sitting down like 14 courses, you know, it's served in a seashell or whatever. Uh, you're gonna enjoy the experience. At least I'm gonna. So this is going to be lengthier episodes. Again, less cutting. If I like fuck up really badly or whoops. Uh, or there is some like real downtime. I am going to edit. But again, it's going to be nowhere near what I do for like Sekiro and all that. You can go through that. I think. You have to roll. Yeah, yeah, you have to roll. Because, of course, this game does not have jump. You do, you, you can get to the other side of that, can you? Yes, you can. Yes, you can, but there is no point. Why did I remember that there was a treasure there? I don't know, man. You know what's coming up. Ouch. 
Man, these crotches are getting absolutely demolished here. Wait, what do I have? Oh, I have the flint. Yeah, the flintstone. Oh, the lighting. Oh, man, the lighting. This is... Magusta, Magusta, Magusta. Um, let's see if I can do this. Like, I, sh I should be able to. Unless I'm, like, drunk on hype or whatever, which looks like I am. I'm, like, drunk on hype and I cannot play the game. I should be okay here. Just gotta watch my stamina. This fatso looks creepy as hell. Yes, please keep doing that. See, as you can see, that is what I'm talking about. Um, like, you gotta know what this game is about. This is... Did I seriously just get one shot? Yeah, I, 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 I fucked up there. Um, I could have done that. I, I, I was, I am drunk on the hype. Ah, the Nexus. We're gonna see some feet here. That's what this game is all about, the feet. As you can see, the Nexus looks slightly better. And this is the same voice actress. So the world might be Unfortunately, Vanguard is gonna have to wait a little bit. We missed out on some upgrade materials, but... Who, who gives a shit? We're gonna survive without that. There, we, you, we, you caught a glimpse. It showed a couple of frames there. I mean... The crusty as fuck. But that's what... That's what the, the, the real Souls fans want. Yes, we cannot escape the Nexus. We know what this is all about. Let's go talk to our buddy. Who is a new character model? A lot of characters have new character models and there's actually fucking lip movement. Only Sekiro has lip movement. No, actually, some characters have them in Dark Souls 3. Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Voluntaria. I came for... I came for feet. Last year. So she's gone, obviously. The maiden. She's only gonna appear... Once we like get shit done here, oh man, the lighting, this thing is looking good. Technically, I should go offline, uh, not to be bothered with like messages and all that. I I'll consider that. How has this happened? Look at that! This strategically, do hey, zoom in. We have facial animations. A little bit robotic, but we will forgive them. We'll forgive them. They're really proud of this, I can see. You know what he's all about. One thing I've talked about this before that this remaster does have its ups and downs. Obviously, there is some merit to leaving the game as is. The not so big merit of leaving the game as is, is that things that really don't work in this game, in the original I mean, uh, like the upgrade system, have stayed. I mean really the upgrade system is the big one. Like this game, this game's upgrade system is annoying as fuck like there's no other way to say it uh it's confusing difficult to manage like whatever it's stayed as is this guy is just 
yeah, he's just babbling on. I'm already skipping dialogue. Fuck. Okay, I gotta like tape down my finger. Oh shit. I gotta like tape down my finger or something, because it's like so instinctual to just skip everything. Oh man, let's go. Gates of Boletaria. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we have to bear with this game because some of the things have stayed as is. So. Whatever. I've always managed to fight through the upgrade system. I'll fight through it this time around as well. Now this is looking slightly better. You can actually tell what the hell this dragon is doing. Because in the original one it looks like it has like a mouth disease. Um, the only thing we gotta like figure out here is what type of build we want to shoot for. I generally have some desire to make this into like a lore lore friendly playthrough if that makes any sense, which means that we need to switch to Demon Brand. Demon Brand is the one you get naturally, right? I think so. We need to switch to it when the time comes because like you know, again, I want to be Oh, that fucking that was accidental too. Not even gonna not even gonna lie that that was intentional. Um Yeah, we got to switch to Demon Brand when the opportunity arises. And then carry on with that, which is good cuz that weapon is pretty powerful on its own. Until then, you know what? I also kind of want to use magic. Because the magic system in this game is fucked up. Like, there is no other way to say it. Like... It's it's bonkers, like... You know. And I kind of also have some desire to go for the bastard sword. Which you get right here. Which means we'll need strength. Some strength. I know I picked a wanderer and I'm already going for a strength weapon, but... That's the beauté of this game, that you can do whatever the shit you want. God, he always misses with that. Not me, but them. They miss me. Which means I cannot get sick parries. Which I probably would have failed all of them, but... Hey, confidence is key. Get backstabbed, bitch. I'm really thinking there's unique animations if you parry them two-handed. Like, there has to be. Which means I really want to get that. Fuck. Am I, like, not quick enough? Maybe I'm not. Hey, we got a pan resin out of that, too. Sick, sick, sick. By the way, just because I'm playing this game, like I'm gonna, obviously this is exciting, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm gonna play a lot of this game for the next couple of days, but don't think the other ones are going away, like, I'm pretty much just doing Sekiro as like a regular playthrough, but, but the rest of the channel is, you know, still alive. As in the rest of the games I'm doing, so don't even worry about that. It's just... Like... I'd be an idiot not to push out this game. Fuck! I knew, knew I would miss that. I knew it. Whatever. I mean, some enemies are easier to parry than others. Excuse me. Thank fuck. Because it's so good that whenever I break a box, it doesn't, like, destroy my PC. One of the issues with the emulator was that, uh, like, emulating a PS3, even a PS3, is, like, absolutely crazy. You need a really strong PC for it. And mine is pretty strong, but not that strong. So, one of the weirdnesses of when I used to emulate this game is that whenever I broke the box, and you guys know, like, the people who were around, classic mailbreaker, the people who were around on those streams, they know that it was horrible sometimes because the frame rate climbed down to like a fucking snail space 
and I don't have to deal with any of that shit anymore. And that, I think, is the best aspect of Demon Souls, the fact that this game is remastered, that this game is a little, was, I should say, a little bit inaccessible, and I know there is a bit of irony saying that this game is now accessible when it's on the PS5. I thought there was a boulder coming down. But still, it's better than ever, the situation. Them firebombs are looking good. Oh, the lighting engine. Man. You know, it's like... You kind of get what the creator's vision is with certain things, but you see that they were just not able to do it. And now they're able to do it. And that's, I think, the best part. Blind parries, we got those. Somehow it's only the draglings that are, like, more difficult to parry. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't the bastard sword supposed to be, like, somewhere here? Or is that when you... Oh, shit. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hey, we have a dagger. Oh, you know what? We gotta check out. We gotta check out the parry. With the dagger. Bastards. That's the one. Okay. Let's look at the stat line for this thing. <clears throat> 18 strength. Ah, we can go for that. I mean, we don't we don't have the worst strength. Um, do I want to go for this? I think so. Th this feels like all natural, you know. Okay. Shit. But don't flintstone, bitch. I should probably remove that from my toolbar, shouldn't I? Now that I think about it, that might be, that might be a smart idea. In fact, you know, let's do that. Let's just have the half moon here. Oh yeah, and there is a uh, this mode in this game. Photo mode. You know what this is going to be used for. Like... Obviously it's used for looking at the... Maiden in Black's feet. I mean, there's just no other possibility. And anybody who has denied doing that... Is a fucking liar. Oh, the dagger! <laughs> I feel like we gotta watch the backstab again. The animation as well, I was like cutting them bitches up. Looks kinda sick. Two. Three. Damn. Ice cold. That is ice cold. I should cut back to where I was, right? I think I'm gonna... Okay, we're back, and I think what I'm gonna do this time around is I'll I'll fight this enemy normally, not like a fucking stoner, uh, and we'll kind of move on like that. Because sometimes, if I'm an idiot, that's gonna... I think me being an idiot is gonna get me killed a lot throughout this playthrough, because it's just my natural inclination to be, like, overconfident and shit. After I do stuff like that, I, I tend to be like that. Because the boy's effortless sometimes. And sometimes I'm gonna like die to a dragling. So I gotta somehow kinda balance those two things out. Anyways, let's get let's get the ring and let's get all the other shit. Ouch. See about being overconfident. Get back to that bitch, blue eye knight. These guys look sick now. 
They used to look kind of lame, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of shit kind of looked lame in this game. <laughs> it's not quite the case anymore. Fire Bomb. Good old Fire Bomb is always nice. I think I'm gonna try that out. I'm not gonna try it out because I you, like you need that shit. You need to save that. Chill out, chill, chill, chill. You need to save that shit for the boss. Do you really? Nah, you don't. Let's blast someone. I think we have our... No, we don't. These guys are idiots. Come on. Be nice and stupid. <laughs> that looks sick. Blow them bitches up. I like how it spreads too. God, the particle effect is crazy. They're crazy. This is my like first actual PS5 game I'm playing. I mean, I kind of fucked around with Ratchet and Clank, but I've just been like using going for the PS4 games. Like, you know, Sekiro, seeing that everything is working, more on combat, seeing that everything is working, all my saves are exported, so... You know, this is like the boy's first PS5 experience, that's why he's a bit speechless. Does this actually pause the game now? Oh yeah, I think they did mention something, people were pissed about this. You can now actually pause the game. What the shit do I have there? Age spice. Okay, we don't need those. We don't need those just yet. We just need to... I don't know. I don't know what we need. Nothing. I need to not, like, lose track of where I am. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's how we're going to cap off episode 1. I think this should be the cap off for episode 1, shouldn't it? I think the tutorial and half of Boletaria 1 should be like a nice... Nice taste of what's to come. I'm guessing. We're gonna cap it off with... A bold jump. That was a bold jump. I'm trying to... That was a bold leap? leap. No! What? Do we want to help this guy? Does he deserve help? Hey there. Shit, there's a lot of gestures. Uh, I'm the boss of the draglings. Cool, there is no wave, at least I'm blind. Um, let's clap for them. Hey there, draglings. Hey, look at how synchronized they are. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Demon Souls right here. First episode. I can't believe it. Let's just rest. Ostrava, I think you should sit down. Let's have a drink. We'll take care of the draglings later. Oh man, I don't even know what to say. I've just played 42 minutes of Demon's Souls on PS5. I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. This is... The fact that I'm... This game is now so accessible to me. Sorry if you don't have a PS5. I, I apologize. Um, is, it, is a PS5 worth it for this game though? I'm still not 100% sure. I mean, I got the console, I had the opportunity. But, I don't know, this game is excellent though, that's like not me shitting on anything. Still, if you did enjoy episode 1 of Demon's Souls, make sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe because... No! What on earth am I doing?
Hmm. Like this video, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications to always be notified when I upload a new episode of this. I guess I have some more playing to do. What, it, could there have been a more perfect way to end this episode? I'm not sure. Take care, everyone. Peace out and see you. Demon Souls. Let's get it.